Ooh. All right, everybody. So as we prepare to have some people in class, maybe do some Saturday schools with some hands on, we really need to look at and talk about what we have when it comes to equipment. First of all, all of the cameras we use shoot 1080 progressive or higher. So we have a bunch of ones that shoot high definition 1080p. Then we'll have some other ones that shoot upwards of four to 6K on them. But we're gonna start with a basic DSLR camera that shoots at 1080p. So this right here is a Canon. It's a T5i. When we talk about DSLRs, we're gonna talk about a camera that would shoot pictures that can also shoot video. This unit, nice. This unit has interchangeable lenses. So we can pop this lens off and put a like cinema lens. We can also put an adapter on the front of this and change the mount of the lens and use Sony lenses or use Nikon lenses. I don't know why you'd use Nikon lenses, but you could. Um, you could use PL mount lenses. You could use like a three quarter inch mount. Those are the kind of things that you would do. So as you progress when you're using a DSLR camera, usually your progression is to better lenses. Yes, Jordan, did you have a question? Are we supposed to be writing descriptions on the cameras for the notes? Yes. Okay. So Canon T5i shoots 1080p, shoots large, very large uh, JPEG and raw pictures has the interchangeable lens system. It's got a flash for when you're shooting pictures. On the back, it's got an LCD screen where you can see your displays and your menu and what you shoot. Up top here, it's got an on, an off, and a camera, okay? So when you go all the way to camera, there we go, on, off, and camera, you know you're working with film recording. On would be shooting pictures, camera would be recording. You have your menu all through, just a basic camera. Had we started the school year together, you guys would have shot your school tour video on this and you would have shot your first either silent film or music video with this and then we would have immediately moved on. Basic camera, basic use. All right, so we just talked about the idea of interchangeable lenses. Some of our cameras have interchangeable lenses, some don't. Our normal first level video cameras, they're made by Panasonic. So this is our entry level video camera versus a DSLR. This one and its 4G partner does not have uh, removable lenses. So we shoot off the lens that's built in. Now let's go back when we're talking about lenses, this is an adapter. So the back end of this adapter is one type of mount. This one's a Sony mount, an E mount. And then the front of this one is a PL mount or positive lock. So this one takes a Sony camera. So you pop it right on a Sony, lock it into place. And then you can put other lenses on the front that are not Sony mounts. Like I said, this one's PL. We have E mounts to Canon. We have Canon to Sony. We have Canon to PL. So those are our adapters that we use. And then I brought out a couple lenses to show you. Small lens that you would put on. This one is a 50 millimeter. So it's a prime. It is not a zoom. Okay, it has multiple wheels. So these wheels change your f-stop, okay? So they change the amount of light that is let in or not let in. It opens up and closes the iris on your lens. So any, any normal lens will have that. This lens, you can tell obviously, a little bit bigger, okay? Okay, much larger piece of glass, is super heavy, probably weighs about six pounds, okay? large lens inside. This is a 135 millimeter prime. 
And this one is still a Canon mount. This is a cinema lens by Zine. It's got very clean, clean shooting. The Zines were, I think, like $1,800 a lens. The smaller Rokinon, this one that you saw, like $600. Um, these adapters are like $600, but there are some that go down as low as like uh, a few hundred. And then we have a collection of long lenses um, that we got uh, two years ago. I think so. I mean, if you wanted to bring your own camera to shoot, that would be fine with me. Just keep it in a bag and uh, you can always lock it up in the safe when, you're, when you go to your other classes, if that was something you wanted. This is a zoom lens. Okay, so this one right here is 120. So it goes from 120 millimeters to 300 millimeter focal length. It's got a giant hood. It, I'd say it's probably about a 12 pound lens. It's got this giant mount on the bottom with different, different thread holes for your tripod and also for a lens mount. I'm sorry, a lens support. So you would have something out here to support this lens because if you hook this to your camera, it's going to do this first of all. And here where it, where it connects to your camera will do some damage because of its, if its weight, okay? And we have, we have zoom lenses all the way up to 600 millimeters. Um, we bought these before the pandemic, hoping to start doing a lot of streaming of uh, sporting events, rallies and everything, showing all of our families everywhere uh, across the country and anywhere where they live. What, what we do as a high school. And then instead the world shut down and we never got to show anybody anything. So that, that's lenses. Uh, we have about 70 different lenses uh, ranging in price, probably from about $400, $500 to $15,000 uh, each. And uh, they all do different things, work with different units and uh, put out a different type of uh, idea or product. All right, so this right here is one of our can, uh, one of our Panasonic AGs. We have both AGs that shoot 1080p and we have AGs that shoot 4K. Uh, this camera, like I said, fixed lens. It does have two XLR ports for audio. The audio is controllable up here to set the inputs and on the back side to set which input you want or if you want both. So line and mic level, then input on the side. We have all of the buttons. We have ND filter, we have menu. Um, we have changing uh, autofocus to manual. Um, we have different settings where you can set up the camera to have all of your settings inside. This area right here is where I was telling you about that has the audio. So it'd be like uh, internal to, to audio one, to audio two. Then we got focal ring and and zoom up top on the camera you have a top record and zoom and then you have side record a side zoom and then red button on the back record on the back you also have your on and off your on and off button you put that hold the white button down and then you push it up or down depending on where you're going with it on the back you have your excuse me, your battery, push the battery button in, lift the battery up, it comes out, push the battery in up at the top, slide it down, it locks into place, check it and you're good. So this camera right here is a Sony. It is an FS 700. The FS100 looks very similar. It's not as stocky through here, but most of the features are pretty much the same. This right here is an interchangeable lens. It has a lens adapter on it right now that takes us from a Sony E mount directly to our Canon mount. It has its viewfinder right here. It's got all of its controls here and here. Its battery comes from the back and right down here below, you'll see an eject. 
it's hard to teach with my head turned the other way. So the eject button doesn't want to push in. I thought it was stuck for a sec. So here, like I said on the side, is your battery release. You slide it out, you pop it out, push it back in, slide it to the left, and make sure it is locked in and ready. Okay, back here is our power. So we hit the green button and we turn it to on. The camera will then turn on, the viewfinder will engage. It will give us information. All the cameras will give information. What they're gonna give you is, you know, how much battery life you have, how much time you have on your card, things like that. Then you'll have other times where stuff will be flashing on the screen. And if it's flashing on the screen something, it's probably telling you that it wants you to do something. Like sometimes you'll have change the ND um, uh, to uh, one quarter or, you know, your white balance is off or this or you looking at the audio meters, but you don't see the audio meters moving. So you're wondering exactly what is going on. These are all things that the camera will tell you. And as we get into these, we're going to actually, when we use them, you're going to see all the differences. You're going to see what you can do.